Are you ready to go? You know what's happening today, don't you? Morning, Dave. Morning. What day? Good morning, guys. Bright and early this morning. We're, uh, well, we've kind of got a hole in the side of the... What's happened? Well, apparently the... Not that we knew, but we need a new windscreen. But we've got a few stone chips. There's one there. Um, one there, we've got another big one there, big crack up there, another one over there. There's one up the top here as well. But apparently to take the windscreen out, if you've got a safari snorkel, <laughs> you've got to have that taken off. And they didn't tell us when we went to windscreen O'Brien, just when we got there, oh no, we're not doing that. You've got to take the snorkel off. So we've had to go and get the snorkel removed. Yeah, so nice, nice hole. <laughs> so what happens is to take the windscreen off, they've got to take this black piece off. And because it's bolted through there, the snorkel, they can't. They can't do it and they don't want to take the responsibility of breaking the snorkel when they do it. So we have to take it back to DRD to <laughs> get them to take it off. Then it go, we're changing um, windscreen mobs. We're going to Novus, they're here in Mandra. So they're just around the corner from DRD. So DRD was taking that off yesterday. I'm going to drop this off now, get the new windscreen in. Then it's got to go back to DRD. They're going to put the Hold snorkel on. So yeah. So yay for having a patrol, what a bloody headache. But yeah. anyway, for you patrol owners, be aware because they didn't even ask us if we had a snorkel. So we drove all the way from Mandra to Rockingham and they couldn't do it. So as you know, most companies are busy, so we couldn't get it in. This is our, literally our last week. So um, being able to coordinate it with DRD, which is brilliant. And Dave went there yesterday and we're uh, getting a few other things done. So he can explain that to you. Okay, <laughs> sorry for that interruption. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so while we're there, um, we're going to get, he's got another one of these Maxxis um, Razor tyres, ATs. So we've got a brand new one underneath. We're going to have this tyre here on this rim will become our spare because the tyre on the other side is chopped out. So we'll chuck that. The two tyres on the back are in good nick. Well, we've still got, you know, 50% tread. So we'll put them on the front. And then we'll use the brand new tyre under here plus one more brand new tyre. And that will become the, um, the back tyres for now. We'll just see how it goes. Up that way it's, I don't know, five, six hundred bucks for a tyre instead of four times that. And also, we're grabbing a service while we're at it. Yeah, so, so he's going to do a service on the car as well. So that's one less thing to do now. So um, virtually so once we pull out of here, so today... Tick, <laughs> tick the list off. Today is Wednesday. Um, so that's it. We've just virtually got tomorrow. This might not be finished today. He said, depending on what time Novas get the car back to him. Yeah, but, we're probably, but that's okay. Pick it up Thursday, then Friday, the van goes up to get a few little th things that needed fixing on warranty. And then we've got um, Saturday, mow the lawns. Sunday, everything's getting picked up. And maybe, depending on what time it gets picked up, we might leave Sunday afternoon, or we will be going Monday morning early to beat the traffic on the freeway. So, we'll see you on the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Indy. Are you ready to go? You know what's happening today, don't you? Morning, Dave. Morning. What day is it? Uh, moving day. Woohoo! Packed everything up. Well, 10 <laughs> hour haul yesterday, trying to get rid of everything, mow the lawns, everything perfect, clean the house, all the cupboards nicked done inside. Oh, it's it, been epic, I tell you. We were pretty buggered last night. We even had a pizza for dinner. So, yeah, it's, um, Dave's just making coffee. How was your night's sleep in the van for the first time? Just waking up? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was all right. Um, bed's comfortable, but I mean, it's getting used to all the noises again, you know? In the house, you can shut the, the blinds and- Yeah, you don't hear anything, but when you're sort of in the van, you hear absolutely everything. Every car that went around the corner. <laughs> so, yeah. But, is what it is. Yeah. 
we'll get used to that. Yep. So we're just going to have coffee this morning and just uh, I'll quickly go through and make sure everything's perfect in the house for the new owners. And uh, off we go to our mate's place and uh, hang out in his driveway for a little bit. Yeah, look, sorry we didn't put, um, this will go up on this week, but we didn't have one last week. We've just been way too busy trying <laughs> to get stuff done. We had the car done. We're trying to shift. I'm glad I took that last week off work instead of working it because there's not a hope in hell I would have finished. So, yeah, so hopefully, um, obviously Nick, <laughs> the van had enough stuff in at the start with and then she put all the stuff in the house in and she's like, oh, mm, it's too We much. need to do another cull, I think. So. We'll get up there and have a little go shuffle. Go work through and see what needs shoveling around, but we'll see what happens anyway. Yeah. Time will tell. <laughs> Especially if you go over the way bridge. Yeah. Patiently waiting for Dad to get back with some fuel. And hook her up. And on to our adventure. See how out of practice he is, see if we can get it in one go. Of course, I don't like to help because of the arguments. <clears throat> Just saying, see how good you are, see how to practice you are. Well, you, you got me. No, I don't help because of the arguments. <laughs> Get it? Dust. Look at that. Now's your chance. Yeah, let's go. Say hello. <laughs> More whinging. Chuck the clothes out at the Sammy's on the way. So, we endured the uh, traffic on the freeway. Oh, it wasn't that bad, God. What did we do? It was uh, a bit over an hour and a half to get here, so it was all right. Oh yeah, so we're up in uh, Mate's driveway in Two Rocks. And as you can see, movie has gone. <laughs> we're, um, yeah, we're encroaching on his driveway. Yeah, so we're just, we're up here for a few things to do. Um, we'll go for a drive down, just show you quickly around town. I want to get this video up today, so it's out for tomorrow. Uh, we've also... We've been coffee and chatting with uh, my auntie Bev, so she lives up here, so we're, we're a little bit delayed with our um, editing today. Not that I do any, but um, yeah, we've been <laughs> hanging out with her. So yeah, we're just going to take you a quick drive down the marina and... Yeah. And then tomorrow, just for next week's episode, we are actually getting the car, um, the car and caravan professionally weighed. So we've got yep. to hook up again, drag yeah. it up. It's not far. We've just got to go to um, up to Yanchep, and which is ten k's away, if that, mm. and get it professionally weighed. So that'll be next week's episode to see where we are with weights and whether we've got to throw more of Nick's clothes out. <laughs> Whether we've got to go to the Good Sammy's and do another cull. We have done another cull since we've been parked up. So, um, yeah, we just want to see where we're at and uh, see if we can maybe, I don't know, add a couple of extra things like, you know, to like your, what do you call it, on the back bumper, like your... Uh, we'll bleh, bleh. Spit it out. We want to put a spare wheel carrier on the back of the patrol so that we can put a long range tank underneath. Yeah. Um, so we've got to just see if we come within the weights to be able to do that. Yeah. If we can't do that, well, then the next option is a jerry can holder, which really is here and all there, but yeah. a jerry can holder is $200. <laughs> so yeah. it would be better to put in the long range tank, then at least you can have up to another. I think they're about another 140 litres, 130 litres. Some yeah. of them 160. Not that you need to fill it up, but on those big long trips, um, it'll be good to have that extra fuel. 
Yeah, so I think it would be, we just want to know where we're at, you know, and obviously weight-wise if we if we can do it before we spend the money. So, And I think it's a good idea that everybody does it. So we'll do that for you guys and, um, yeah. Next week's episode. Next week's episode and we'll take you down the marina now. Yep, so for today, off we go. Off we go. So for you that don't know, Dave actually grew up in this area of Two Rocks and um, they used to have... Club Atlantis, was it called? Yeah, Up Atlantis, here? Atlantis Marine Park. Yeah, so they had dolphins and uh, all sorts up here. And the only thing that's left from that is, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> which is uh, King, King Neptune. Neptune. So we'll take you past him. I got a, I got a beautiful photo of him uh, the other night when we came to the pub for a meal. So yeah. And we're just heading into the marina just now. It's like a little old town, like you know, there's not much up here, and um, it feels a bit holiday-ish, doesn't it? Yeah. So when I grew, we moved here in 1974 as kids. I think I was about five or six or something like that. And it hasn't much changed. We actually lived straight just down onto the right there, down in the next street. But we used to have to walk up the shops and geez I thought it was a long way but <laughs> now we're here it doesn't seem that far at all. So here's the beautiful ocean. So the shops we'll go in and have a drive around the shops. We won't get out we're just doing a quick drive through. Not that you're probably really interested in the shops but um yeah it's just a small little seaside town. Yeah this end of town nothing much has changed. Um this is the original shopping center in here with uh, but they've got new pubs and stuff like that open on this side. But this is the original tavern. There's King Neptune on that side there. There's a new development here which they've already got Woolies, Coles and Audi here and just over here in front of us now they're... Hold on, I'm just doing King yeah, Neptune. I can still talk. Okay. Um, they're building a new, they're going to put another Woolworths there. So the place is getting pretty big so up along here all these entrances to the left where these trucks and that are that used to be the entrance into Atlantis Marine Park yeah so this is the pub and it overlooks the um, marina which is really nice for a beer o'clock so well and up here Rolf Harris not Rolf Harris some there's there's limestone carvings here that a bloke done and Rolf he did do a Rolf Harris one oh, okay I don't know where it is, it's probably been taken down now, but but um, just a local bloke done all these limestone carvings. carvings. As kids we used to climb up and down these rocks here. <laughs> if our parents knew back then they probably would have killed us. <laughs> um, but yeah, nothing much has changed in this the original shops. There was nothing at Yanchev. The shops were here at Two Rocks. So that where it, that IGA where that person's just coming out, that door there used to be the butcher shop where I first started my trade. So what else have we got here? Oh uh, and oh and by the way, Auntie Bev told me there's a croner at the bakery. So guess where I'm going tomorrow morning? I'm going to get a croner. For you thought... that don't know what a croner is. That is a mixture between a croissant and a donut. So let's see what it tastes like tomorrow. Yeah, when she said Corona, I said at the bakery they're selling beer. <laughs> but it's cro Cro-nut. Nut. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So we'll drive down around here a little bit. But there's some beautiful spots along the, um, like these houses here have got some beautiful views out over the ocean. Yes. They thought it was at a, go, a real go-ahead place back in 1979 to 1980. They thought it was going to be the next best thing, but it's only just starting to happen now. As a kid, we used to come down fishing down here. What a lot, did your dad say? Don't go under the jetty. And did you go under the jetty? Oh, bloody oath I did. <laughs> <laughs> I got sprung too. Jeez, I'd get a hiding. <laughs> But mum used to, at the talking about the pub up here, mum used to work at the pub behind the bar. And um, I can remember we used to come down and these, if Nick shows you to the left here, all these limestone walls, we used to climb up these. 
better to go in a corner. We used to climb right up. This is the pub here in the white. And we used to pinch all the coasters off the off the table and we'd stand up there on the balconies and we'd flick them and see if we could get them into the water. <laughs> and you can see where the water is, way over there. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, you know, this is why it's called Two Rocks. You've got the two rocks there. Um, years ago, the, you couldn't walk out to them, but we just noticed now that you can actually... They're just on sand. Yeah, one of them, the small rock, is actually on the sand. And the big just, rock is right on the edge. But they have done the marina up, so... Got a nice boat ramp. When I was here, it was just straight off the bit of a beach there. So there's the one rock just there. We can't quite see the other one with the sand dunes in the way. Another nice day. Used to, well, used to be real popular for fishing. I don't know what it's like now, but used to be able to walk out along that groin there. Just go out. Oh, I can't, still can't see really. The other one's way over there. Yeah, better from the other side. So well, they get the hint why it's called And our mate, rocks. our mate used to be volunteer there? Yeah. No. Oh. Surf Life Saving Club? Not here. Oh. <laughs> Up at Dongra. Oh, sorry. Okay. So there's plenty of boats out there. Used to be a real big cray fishing town, but when they brought the quotas in, that sort of dropped the the number of boats that were here. Couple of barbecues. That must be my boat, it's called Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, because you just love it. Yeah, a million comedians out of work, and Nick's trying to be one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one said inspect or something. Let's see what he says. Oh, no, it's just inspector. Back in the old day you could actually walk all through here and obviously I, like most things these days people can't be trusted and everything's locked yeah. and we were just saying it's nice to have a bit of a, a marina to launch your boat because um or bring it back in because when we were in Caratha uh, at Dampier there one day Dave and I <laughs> it was horrendous because it was just so choppy and oh the wind was blowing you and it kept sort of pushing the boat a little bit under the jetty and was a bit dangerous so yeah it's nice they've got a marina to do it tell the man get another boat tell the man get a boat look at this beautiful house there's some nice houses along here lucky them yeah, look at their view, gorgeous. Anyway, we'll just leave you with that beautiful view and we'll catch you next week with the way of the van. See if I've got to check out some more clothes. And shoes. Don't forget. Handbags. Why, what else we gotta do? Not um, us. What is everyone else gonna do? Like and subscribe. Oh yeah, like and subscribe guys and uh, catch you next week. See ya. Bye. Bye.